November 14, 2014, yesterday, a male Jack Russell, 11 years old, was operated to remove a big ear tumor. This ear tumor was located at the entrance to the vertical ear canal. The entrance to the vertical ear canal. And uh, at first, it was a small tumor, and a vet has removed it. Then the tumor returned, recurred, and uh, became bigger and bigger. It became so big that it obstructed the whole opening of the vertical canal. So it was obstructed, and uh, the dog was scratching the ear. There was a bad smell and there was infection. So the only solution was surgery to cut off the vertical ear canal and the tumor as well. And uh, this was done yesterday by Dr. Daniel in Tuapaya Vets. And uh, as you can see, this tumor looks very much like a cauliflower. And the whole vertical canal is obstructed. So the surgery is cut off and then to split open split, split open the vertical canal, the lower part, the normal part and uh, split open the, and then uh, and then, and then uh, you close up stitch to the skin the lower part of it without the tumor after that, uh, there will be a hole, and this hole is actually the opening of the vertical canal. You'll see the video later on. So, in, in such cases, it is best to send for histology, but most owners don't want to do it. Histo histology will show us whether the, the tumor is cancerous or not. If it's cancerous, then it's best to remove the whole vertical canal rather than just snip off the tumour because if you just snip off the tumour let's say you just cut off the tumour the cells will come back again, the cancerous cells and this side you, you get a whole regrowing again but uh, most owners don't like the idea of the ear canal being removed I had another case of a cat with a black black uh, spot here and uh, so the, the vet say to observe. After that, the black spot at the tip of the cat's ear developed into a tumor, and it's it migrated downwards, and uh, it was operated, but still the tumor recurred. So instead of removing just the tumor, advice on vertical ear canal resection, ablation, and uh, in most cases. If, if it's just only the cartilage of the ear canal affected, then the, there should be no recurrence again. But uh, many owners are not really keen on vertical ear canal ablation, and so when the tumor re recur, then they will they don't mind doing it. November 14, 2014,